Oh snap, we're back. We did a normal snap video as today we shall finally play the Black Knight alongside the Black Cat, but not in a hella deck, which is what you'll be expecting. I opened Black Cat, uh, Black Knight, sorry, very recently um, as I went all in on the, um, I, I assume these are the spotlight cachets or reserves. I, I don't know how you call this box, but basically the one that you open with the spotlight keys. Uh, we went all in on it. We got Super Giant, the two variants with Zabu and Darkhawk, and we got the Black Knight as well. And I've been very excited to try out the card that essentially made the discard archetype viable. But, like I said, I want to do so in a non-Hella deck for several reasons. First of all, this is the Mogwai channel. We try to be edgy here. We try to play things that in ways that people don't generally play them and, and to try to take a different perspective on even... Uh, refined metalist because that's that's just how we do here you know we we, we want to be edgy we want to be unique we want to be special but there's more to that i actually wanted to design a discard deck that was more consistent than hella i've never been a hella fan uh even when she was a meme deck especially when she, when she was a meme deck i guess uh because i just felt like um she was the gambler's archetype right uh very very dependent on not only your draws but also the random discards that you would be going for uh back then lady sif was weaker blade was completely random uh did not discard the right most card in your hand and we didn't have access to black knight so the deck overall was really again considered a meme not really uh, viable at a competitive level but oh boy has have things changed the change to blade the incorporation of black knight the buff to lady sif all these things come together, and Hela is just a menace. One of the uh, key proactive decks that don't really need to run tech cards to outmuscle the opponent. Uh, I would say Hela and Destroy are the two decks that fulfill this role. Like they are the proactive kings of the meta, and uh, every other deck is running tech cards to be able to uh, come back from you know, the uh, insane amount of points that they generate. The thing about Hela is that even though she's meta, she's still inconsistent. Uh, there's still games in which you're not going to get the proper discards that you want. You're going to draw Hela too early and Lady Sif is going to discard her away because you don't have death in hand. You also are running a very high density of uh, late game units, like not like the three that we have right here, but also they run, like I said, death. They play Magneto, some play Scar, et cetera, et cetera, with Lockjaw. So it, it is more of like a casino deck still, even if it is more consistent than it's ever been. And I wanted to take an approach at a more mid-range uh, styled uh, discard build that doesn't play Hella, but that is very consistently able to set up a very strong uh, Dracula and uh, Ghost Rider plays in the end game alongside uh, big beefy Ebony Blades that cannot be Shang-Chi'd and a deck that is able to also capitalize on the ability to generate, because we are able to generate so many points in the mid game with stuff like Ghost Rider uh, and even a top deck Black Cat or the Black Knight, we can make use of the fact that we will be ahead uh, of our opponent, or we'll be ahead of our opponent, English, so that we can play uh, two tech cards that I really like for decks that are able to preserve initiative. And those are Cosmo and Quake. Cosmo and Quake are exceptional in decks that are able to stay ahead because we are going to be able to shut down unreal effects on a lane. Specifically, scenarios that can happen with this deck that are very common are you get a Ghost Rider, Giganto, or Infinite going on uh, early on, but then you're worried about a Shang-Chi, so you just drop a Cosmo, you're ahead, so you're going to be able to shut down that lane, and those points that you develop there will be there to stay. Quake is also a very good two-drop that I, I absolutely love, um, by the way, I, I think I I'm, I'm, I have a, a variant in my shop, but that, that that's I'm, I'm going on a tangent there. I just realized that I, I'm going to get a, a quick variant finally. <laughs> uh, let, let me show you real quick. Like I'm I'm, I'm waiting for the stream to get it, but uh, yeah, I, I got a quick variant waiting for me. So excited about that. And uh, yeah, that was again unnecessary tangent. But basically, I'm a big fan of Quake, and the Quake is much better when you are ahead. Because you're going to be able to reveal her before your opponent reveals their cards, which means you're going to be able to swap locations uh, before the opponent reveals their plays. Uh, the most obvious you know, example that I throw out there is with Death's Domain. We can flip Death's Domain and have uh, our opponent's plays onto Death's Domain that turn die. 
and that's really strong. And you can't do that if you're behind, right? So Quick is significantly better as a tech card when you have a high tempo deck. And this deck is all about that. Of course, we play Zabu. Zabu makes Dracula, Ghost Rider, and even a top deck Black Cat costs three energy, which can be really good. Three energy, nine power, good. Better than Gladiator without even having to pull any shit from their deck or anything. No on reveal effects triggered, like amazing, right? And the reason why we play Black Cat here is purely for consistency. Because it seems it seems weird that we're playing Black Cat. I just I I could stare at this variant all day, by the way. One of my actual favorite variants that I have within my collection, and hopefully you guys appreciate it too, will make one hell of a thumbnail. But yeah, again, going on a tangent. These variants, man, these variants got me, got me tripping. Like my narration is just like sabotaged by these beautiful, beautiful cards that I got right here. Look at my Ghost Rider. Oh man, this. So where was I? Uh, yeah, this is a mid-range list, and we're playing Black Cat outside of Hela, which seems bonkers, but it's for pure consistency. So, the reason why we're playing Red Skull, Giganto, and Infinite, uh, first of all, we have a, a significantly less number of big units, so we're gonna be bricking way less than a Hela deck, first of all, uh, which is, you know, easy to, like, you say that quickly, but it's, it's, it's a very big deal, right? Like, the fact that we're able, we're capable of such huge power output without the, um, you know, without being as vulnerable to variants is, is very nice. And these units that we have, as you guys can see, share one thing. They all have a tremendously high uh, base power stat. Red Skull seems a bit weird because we bringing Red Skull back with Ghost Rider is not really as crazy as uh, bringing back something like this because Red Skull uh, is essentially six power in a lane that's fully occupied by units from the opponent. So not really a crazy play. But we don't want to be bringing back Red Skull with Ghost Rider. We want to be using Red Skull to empower our Dracula or to set up a 14 power Ebony Blade. And Red Skull being five energy allows us to avoid those scenarios in which we discard a card for Ghost Rider uh, more reliably because when we go for a Lady Sif play, we will be discarding Giganto or Infinite if they're in our hand over Red Skull, which is very important because like I said, Red Skull is for the blade ideally or for Dracula. Or maybe sometimes we just play him on five on a, on a lane that's empty and that's kind of like a really strong play that the opponent has to, uh, you know, combat. And it, it, it can be easier than done a lot of times. So it can be useful in that sense. Uh, so the idea is by having him being five energy, we can avoid that and we can focus on resurrecting these two or even Black Cat. Like 12 power Ghost Rider is no joke and allows us to preserve initiative to utilize stuff like Cosmo and Quake to really shut down the opponent, depending on, on the match and the locations and, uh, you know, what they're playing, etc. obviously. But very, very good tech cards in that uh, regard. As then, uh, that's what Black Cat is doing here. Black Cat is a phenomenal top deck leader because a lot of times our end games are result in essentially chaining four drops, right? With Zabu, we can chain Dracula into a top deck Black Cat. Uh, we can chain Ghost Rider into a top deck Black Cat. Or like I mentioned, Black Cat can be discarded earlier and used to, uh, to trigger the Ghost Rider if we haven't drawn into our other uh, big boys. Uh, Black Cat can also, in a pinch, trigger the Black Knight on her own and hit give us a nine power ebony blade not crazy but not awful either you know pretty damn useful regardless and it really does make the deck just very cohesive and consistent for which is something that you're not really used to when when playing this archetype it felt very very good uh a very cool thing is that because we you know, we can generate a lot of a lot of momentum here. We can actually utilize Cosmo to shut down opposing Hella decks on turn six while chaining Cosmo alongside one of our four drops, ideally with Zabu on the board. This deck is much stronger when you play Zabu on a curve, but that can be said by for pretty much any Zabu deck, right? But ultimately, this deck just worked amazing for me. I had a, a great run with it in infinite rank, and uh, I thought it was a very worthy deck to share. So hopefully you guys enjoy some Black Knight gameplay. I really, really enjoy this card. Uh, definitely does so much for the discard archetype. And I believe this card, amongst stuff like Nebula and Sunspot, make Electra a pretty nice tech option to look out for. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvels content. Hope you enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Monkey, number five on the ladder, guys. Let's let's bring some humility into their lives. Oh yeah! Oh beautiful, Hell's Kitchen bringing Black Knight. Oh my oh my god! I wish I could Black Knight now. 
I wish I could. Oh, should I blade now? Oh, no. I mean, I, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Black Knight. Black Knight. Come on. Something cheap that I can drop here, like a Zabu. No, not Dracula. Not Dracula. No. No, 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 no. I think I play Quake here. I think I play Quake here. Just to play on curve. Just to keep um, keep generating points. It's important for us to keep initiative, and uh, maybe I can bamboozle them with Crimson Cosmo somehow. But Giganto doesn't mind. Oh my god. Oh, that's hilarious. If if they were somehow like they may be a bounce deck, but now they can't they can't beast on this lane. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh snapada. Snapada? Snapada. Blade. It's not ideal because, you know, Ghost Rider. Red Skull is not as strong as you would think, but we got the Ebony Blade at 14. It, it is a bounce deck. It is actually a bounce deck. It is a bounce deck, and we are going to blade. We're going to Ebony Blade. Where are we going to Ebony Blade? I like Ghost Rider here because they can't flood this location. This location is really annoying for them. So Ghost Rider on the left is pretty stonks. Um, but I don't want to reveal that just yet. What do you mean? Oh, le oh, oh, Lake Hellas. Oh, I actually, I actually didn't read that. Oh, I, I derped there. But th this is going to be the location that's, that's most contested. So I'm going to play Ebony Blade on the right. Just Dracula now. They'll get priority. I have a Cosmo, bro. I have a Cosmo. I want priority. What are you talking about? God tier top deck here would be Zabu. Zabu would be God tier top deck here. Oh my god! Okay. So now that we kept initiative, uh, what's the next one? After you play your next card, replace that card's location. They may play here. Now the question is, where do we Cosmo? We Zabu mid. With Zabu, you can't play left. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't think about that. I think he's going to replace left. He's going to replace Crimson Cosmos, guys. We, we're going to count on him to do that. It's okay. We're at Cosmo here. All right, all right, monkey. All right. Cosmo here really sold it. I I'm pretty certain about winning the right. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna give up on the middle. I'm gonna Black Cat here. I'm gonna Ghost Rider here. I'm gonna Dracula here, and I win. Watch. Too much power on the flanks. Way too much power on the flanks. You, you, you ain't got shit. With a Cosmo on the right, you're fucked. Okay. But that means the werewolf is not there. Yeah. Got him! Let's go! Let's go! Number five on the ladder, A Cube, baby! You tell us you like decks more than you play them. Um, I'm a deck builder more than a player, so yeah, I, I got, I, I'm the kind of guy who makes a deck and then proceeds to stare at it for an hour. I'm that guy. I think your style of decks is more entertaining to watch than boring meta decks. I, I think so too. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we kind of bricked. And they blade into into Infinauta and they just discarded Black Cat. And we just and we just oh oh okay. 
I don't want to sound negative, guys, but it's it's not looking great. And and they got a second black. Wow. Yeah, guys. I, I think I think this is gonna be a pretty um pretty close game. Yeah. Uh, Dracula to contest Lockjaw. Okay, so two black cats. I mean, their hella is is hella problematic. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go you into you. Magneto on top of that. Okay, okay, okay. Jubilee into what? Into a Giganto. Wow. Okay. Uh, nice. Nice. Good. 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 Good for you. Really happy for you. We don't even have initiative, so this Cosmo is useless. This Cosmo is actually useless. We could. Um. We could Ghost Rider. We could potentially Ghost Rider to solidify this lane. And then we could Cosmo to give a little bit of extra boost here. We don't have initiative, so Cosmo doesn't do anything but give us three points. Um, guys, we got to get the fuck out of here. Not our game. Bro, stop coping and retreat. Can I, can I, can I explain my plays? Explain my thought process? Am I, am I allowed to do that? Did you buy Burger King with tokens? Um, I haven't eaten Burger King in a while, to be honest. Uh, I don't like I don't like you filling my hand with nonsense. Except that's actually good information. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna go Zabu. Where are we gonna go with Zabu? Left or middle? Is there any reason to go left or? I mean, we have Giganto, so we go middle. Um, they they could have any of these. Okay, Zabu into Zabu. Guys, if I if I discard Giganto, he'll come. Yeah, uh, no. Escaped. We got the Black Knight, and we have the tech cards. We're gonna play him into the mirror dimension because we're gonna have enough time. Though Wakanda would have been better, but what if I what if I proactively quake? There's 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 quite a few surprises I can go with quake, but I don't actually have a curve, so I'm gonna play Quave on curve, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swap these two, and I'm, I'm gonna protect the Black Knight. What if what if that's like what if it's a destroyed deck and we just screwed them over? No, no, it's a Ravona deck. Uh, this could be Living Tribunal. This could be a lot of things. Uh, we're gonna Zabu. We're gonna Zabu. Um, keep our, our options open. A bit late for a Zabu, but oh my god. Okay, okay that's, 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 that kind of sucks. Okay. We still have not been able to discard. This is the this is the turn to play um, Dracula. Dracula being able to go to any of these two locations will be a bit of a mindfuck for them. Um, this could be a Galactus deck. I mean, it's kind of telegraphing that it's a Galactus deck. I have initiative. I have initiative. I could snap on them. I'm gonna snap on them because I'm gonna Cosmo here. I know, I know, I know what you're fucking doing. You're playing goblin on the right. You're you're gonna goblin me on the right, and then you're fucked. <laughs> and got that snap under him. And we got we got the blade into Ghost Rider. They could still like annihilate us, but it doesn't matter. At this point, they're shut down. I'm gonna Lady Sif, and then you know what's you know what's happening.
Annihilus. Mm -hmm. What if they play another goblin in the middle? Oh. This just wins. No, what what if they what if they if they could lack this? They could go lack this in the middle. Get bitch slapped, boy. We got the Black Knight. God, that 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 dopamine, that dopamine rush you get when you see Black Knight in your opening hand. Y'all, can y'all relate? Ugh, try hard. Actual try hard. Mm, this quake is weird. Guys, my my okay, this this variant this is 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 okay, it's cool. It's cool, I guess, but this one is better. Right guys? My 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 black knight is better. Well, this quake was pointless. I, guys, I wanted to Hala to, to kill their Black Knight. I really wanted to do it. But I was too afraid. I was legit too afraid. I was a coward. I'll admit it. I was a coward. I'm in a Dracula on the right. But guys, it's okay because they're a coward too. Jubilee into what? Jubilee in two, death. Okay, so you're Hella. Hmm. That's annoying. I, I, I need to create, I need to discard like the thing this round, but I can't play Blade. I cannot play Blade. I can play him maybe after. Like we just, we just Lady Sif here. The question is, where do we Lady Sif? The answer is Aunt May's. Okay, so Magneto over there. Infinauta. Infinauta. Hmm. Now we're gonna commit to Ant Maze because if they play something here, it's gonna move. That's 20 points over here. It has to be Ghost Rider though, and it has to be Blade because then this is much better. Because if we Ghost Rider, we bring back Infinalta, and then and then uh, Blade discards the Black Cat, which means it's either 14 or 15 points over there. It's a lot. And we give up on, on this location. We give up on Titan. And we reinforce. We reinforce the center. We reinforce the center. Hela is not that. I'm going to snap on them. We reinforce the center with Blade. And we Ghost Rider. No, no, no. Ghost Rider left because Aunt May is going to move their shit. Watch. See? Moved.
Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get wrecked, boy. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about a Ghost Rider? Okay, Hood. Could be a Nihilus, could be Bounce. Oh, no, 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 no. No. God damn it. I hate Adelan. But it's a bounce deck. It's a bounce deck. It's gonna fuck them up. I mean, Dracula in Quantum Road just kind of wins. I think we Dracula here. It would be nice to discard. It would enable. It would enable my. <sighs> this is a tough decision. But I, I, I can't justify, like, Dracula just wins the Quantum Realm. Oh, I'm gonna snap. I feel confident. Because now it's a good chance that we top deck, um... <laughs> Thank you! Thank you very much! Wow, what a nice guy. What a nice fella. Hmm. I could Black Knight to enable that, but no, nah, we're gonna have to we have to use Black Knight to to feed Dracula potentially. Let's 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 stare let's stare at, at Black Cat for a while, okay? We need to gain initiative. A nice way to gain initiative. Oof, I don't know how to gain initiative here actually. We may we probably want a pig in the in the yeah we want a pig in the in the middle. This is a this is a good this is a good way to get initiative. Oh, you did well. Jokes on you. I got there already. Oh, Giganto. I could Cosmo, but I can, I'm 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 gonna try to Cosmo at the end. We're gonna play Pig in the middle. Black Swan. Okay, we, we're still ahead of them. Perfect. Actually, perfect. Easy. Great YouTube video with with KM. Thank you. We Cosmo mid. We blade, and then that that will create the the blade. Yeah, this is this is so done. This is so over. Like we win all three lanes here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh. man's got deck for days. I mean, it's what I do. Oh, Zabu in the opening. Oh, both big boys. Oh my goodness, this is a hand. This is a hand. Oh my God, Dracula on three. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Zabu to the Moor Island. Bro, imagine if you have all cards, you would break the meta every day. That's that's great for my ego. Thank you. Um, I actually believe that... People are a bit too loyal to the meta in this game. Like, what, what fucking meta? I don't think there's a single there's like right now with 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 things that oh my god. Oof, let's think here. I mean this black cat is just This Central Park benefits us a lot. I'm actually gonna discard the black cat because I may not draw a discard card and I, I want to be able to Ghost Rider. 
This game's kind of easy. This game is kind of easy. But I actually don't think I want to play Blade, right? I want to wait. I want to wait. Why? Because because I don't want my... I, I want to play Giganton. Do I? Omega lol. Omega lol. Can I snap again? They play Shang Chi. You 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 mean the um the Lockjaw Thanos decks plays the number one most played card in Marvel Snap? Are you are I don't believe you. Get Gigantoed, son. Actually, fuck. Actually, fuck. I think I still win. I still win. Blob, though. Blob. Blob is like the biggest threat, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't think they have it. Infinite right could be the play for the Blob. Don't blob, don't blob, don't blob, don't blob, no blob, no blob, no blob, no blob, no blob. Oh my god. <laughs> oh baby. Every time. Every time. <laughs>